Okay, so my name is Paula Shaw, um, and I'm Jay's wife and Isaiah's mom. So I decided to get baptized today uh, because I've always been um, Christian. I've always had Christ in my life. Um, I was brought up with a, an amazingly strong mom and role model of faith to me. Um, I was baptized Catholic, and I'm extremely grateful for that foundation that it provided me with. Um, it really allowed me to build on that and it brought me to where I am today. Um, I grew up with an alcoholic father and my mom made the courageous decision to raise her three children um, as a single mom. Um, so that was just um, such an experience for me to see the strength she had throughout that whole process. When I was a teenager I was encouraged by my mom, um, my, my sister, my, my family, my extended family to attend a Catholic youth retreat called Teen Encounter. And looking back now, I can see God's grace in that experience because it was a huge time for me to grow in forgiveness for my father um, and to really deal with the hurt that I had in my heart. Um, and I just, I really do think that if it wasn't for that experience, I, I wouldn't have the heart I have today for Christ and seeing that, like just seeing him work through me in that experience, um, I'm really truly thankful for. Um, I grew, I, as a young adult in university, I seeked love in the wrong places. Um, you know, I w was pretty lost, didn't really feel like I had a perfect purpose. I was kind of selfish in a lot of acts that I did. Um, I'm not proud of the, the, that time in my life, but I, I do, looking back now, through the good and the bad, I can see Christ in it all, and I can see that he's brought me to where I am today, and I'm really truly thankful for that. I came to follow Christ um, throughout the years. Um, it was my family and my mom and um, who were just a constant, constant encouragement to me, and especially, especially my cousin Avery McCormick. She is truly a godsend. In the years that in the years that I was lost, um, was wandering, she really did show me Christ's love. She always directed me towards him. She always directed me towards Christ. She reminded me endlessly, like over and over, um, how much God loved me and would forgive me if I repented, if I went to him. And I see that today. I see, and I, she taught me that loving Christ is really comes from the heart, and it's a relationship. And I don't think, if it wasn't for her, I don't think I would have the relationship with Christ I do today. And I don't think I'd be getting baptized today. I've heard the gospel my whole life, but I I think it was. I know it was when she really taught me that that how to build that relationship with Christ that that's when it really started to mean something to me and that's when I um, really became interested in just learning more. Jay and I both lived in Kingston uh, a couple years ago and it was while we lived in Kingston I think we became um, you know, much stronger in our faith. Um, when we were on our own we found a church community and that was they were our rock um, through the time away from our family, individually and as a couple, we really started to flourish in our faith. Um, we met an amazing couple, an older couple, who really mentored us, and um, we could ask them any question um, and about Christ, about Christianity, about just life, and we always got an answer with no judgment. I also had a half-sister. Um, her name was Melanie and she's from this Montague area and she battled cancer for eight years and while we were in Kingston that is when Melanie started to experience the end stages of her life and her battle with cancer. Being away from family at that time was tremendously difficult but the questions I could ask Anne about heaven were so reassuring and I could always go to them, we could always go to them for support and just to feel Christ's love and, and Melanie herself 
She is an unbelievable inspiration to me. Her strength, her faith throughout everything. Like, I can't even imagine what she's gone through, and yet she always looked to Christ. So, like, what an amazing example she was to me. So my life since accepting Christ uh, has been a steep learning curve. Um, I'm not perfect. I'll never be perfect. Uh, but I'm. there's just this sense of hope and comfort in my heart that God has a plan for me, my family, um, and I just... It's really just comforting to know that and I'm willing to, you know, say that Christ is my savior and I truly do believe that and I'm just really, really thankful for all the struggle, all the happiness, happy times that I've gone through in my life because I can really say that it has brought me to where I am today and I'm blessed to be um, being baptized today.